My name is Mitchell Ian Winston, and I'm an alcoholic. I'm also a 12-stepper, recovering from alcohol's tight burning grip. At this moment, whether I sound like it or not, I'm more depressed than I've ever been in my entire life. Not despite the fact that I'm recovering, but because of it. Because I've been dealing with nearly 20 years of emotional garbage just this month. It's as if I'm going into shock from all the damage I've done to myself and others. Currently, I'm on step 8 of my program. Make a list of persons I have harmed and become willing to make amends to them all. Yet, because of the destructive nature of alcoholics, there is a caveat thrown into this step. Whenever possible. It's not always possible. My acknowledgements and amends start before I even drank, but it does have to do with alcohol. See, drinking was the coolest thing to me when I was young. It was just kind of fashionable. I'd actually watch Jack Nicholson in The Shining and think his character was cool. That, that might sound crazy, but... I identified with him in a way you do with Freddy or Jason. I loved party movies like Animal House and Old School. My parents were both heavy drinkers, but always Jack Daniels or Sam Adams. With just the two drinks in the house, they'd know if I or my brother ever touched their bottle of Jack, or if a bottle of Sam Adams went missing. So we got creative. Uh, this was back before the internet was around to guide us. We knew from some bit on the Discovery Channel that alcohol comes from fermentation, so we had made a plan. We took yeast, flour, sugar, banana, water, and sealed it in a jar. We found it in the woods behind our house. At the time, I was about 12 or so. My brother would have been about 11. It was hot out that summer, and a week or so later we checked in on the jar where we buried it. It was pretty obvious to us that it was unsafe to drink, and we weren't the brightest of kids. Fast forward two years. A kid at school whose name I've long forgotten kept asking my friends and myself if he could join us for one of our parties in the woods. By that time, we'd made connections and could get full bottles of hard liquor, even weed. And this dorky kid really wanted it. Rather than in actually invite him to a party, I dug up that old jar and gave it to him. I guess he trusted me because he drank it. He died of a bacterial infection not long after. So... Not only can I not say sorry to the boy I killed, I don't even remember his name. The worst part is, I... I didn't even feel bad about it until now. If anyone can find the name of a boy who died of a rare bacterial infection that went to Dodgeville Middle School around 97 or 98, please tell me. I have a grave to visit.